Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark. Behind me is my 2018 Camaro SS1 LE, and it's winter time now. If you can't hear it, it's raining. Also, the car is very wet, and it's supposed to be snowing sometime tonight. So I wanted to start on this thing, uh, starting to prepare it for autocross for next year, and possibly a track day coming up soon. So this is my 2014 Mustang. It is for sale. It will be eventually going away. And this will be my go-to autocross track car that I have. And I need to make it faster than the Mustang because that's kind of a big problem right now is it's, it's slower. I don't get enough traction with this thing. It definitely has more power and it definitely feels like it handles better. But the Mustang's faster at the moment on an autocross or probably track day as well. So what I need to do is I need to improve the Camaro. Now, the first big improvement I think I need to do has to do with the tires. The tires on here are not that great. So I need to replace them. Now, I have spent countless hours on the internet trying to figure out what tires I want to run on this car. The problem is, is that in my autocross class, I have to stay with the 200 tread wear or higher. But the Camaro comes with 20 inch wheels, which has been quite of a problem. It seems like there's not very many people that make tires for 20 inch wheels. And if they do, they're very expensive. So I have come up with a plan. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some 19 inch wheels for this car. And basically I'll have two sets. These will be my everyday wheels. And then I'll have the 19 inch wheels for the track. Just like I did with the Mustang. Those are my regular wheels. These are my track wheels. These are bigger. So now the master plan. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these 19 inch wheels and I'm gonna steal the tires off of the Mustang. They're actually the exact tires I wanna run on there. I do wanna go with the bigger front tire later on. But for now, these are actually close enough. They are bigger than the tires that are on the Camaro. These are 285s and 305s. These are 295s and 315s. Now the problem with the 315s is that apparently on the Camaros like mine with the Magnarite suspension and the back of it, well, we can't really see it at the moment, but I'm gonna show you guys today. They do have a problem with the Magnarite wiring harness. It runs in the wheel well right here. And if you run bigger tires on here, it will rub through the wheel well and it will rub through that harness. So. Being that I don't know if this car has been changed or not, today I'm gonna to take it off and I'm gonna take a look and show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, now I got the wheel off. What we gotta do is we gotta take out the fender liner in here and it's just gonna be a couple of clips. There's some down here and there's a couple that go along on the outside and we're just gonna take it and fold it back this direction. Now, you can see your magnetic ride shock right here and the way that it's supposed to come from the factory is there is a connector down there and it's supposed to run up here. Uh, as we can see, let me get it out of the light. There you go. So there's no rubbing through here just yet. And it doesn't look like they've had any problems with that. But if you start putting bigger tires on here, it's going to start running, rubbing through the fender liner. So I'm going to take a guess and say they haven't moved it yet. So let's take this thing off and find out if they did. All right. So we got the fender liner bent back here. It's really soft. So it just, it pushed back there really easy. But as you can see right there, this is your Magnarite suspension harness and it just goes right where the tire would go. They kind of rub somewhere in about this area. And what we want to do is we want to move it from where it goes down from here. And we want to move it to somewhere over here. Uh, most likely we're just going to take some stuff off and then we're going to zip tie it in place along this line. All right. So we just get in here, you get your little pry tool for these little clips. And you should just go in here and they should just pry out of place. A little bit, maybe. One, come out of your home. It's mostly coming out. There we go. So we got that one out. We'll get this one out. And what I've seen a few people do is because this is already a Christmas tree right there, we can just poke this one into this hole right there. So it's gonna go in that hole and we'll zip tie it along up here and then we'll try to get it to stay in place along this direction. All right, now that I got it moved and secured, I put the fender liner back. You can't even tell I really moved it at all. So basically that's all you need to do just so that you don't rub through it and cause yourself a bunch of problems. Now, I didn't show you exactly how to do it, but it's, you get the idea. You just gotta figure out how to move the cable from one side to the other and it's gonna be out of your way and you're not gonna have any problems with it. Now, if you guys do like videos like this, give me the thumbs up. Let me know that you like this. I'll make some more. And also, if you do want to see more videos that I'm having coming up, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I do want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next video.